Here at Royal Stoke, Ward 112 has been at the forefront of the COVID-19 pandemic, having previously been an elective orthopaedic ward. This week, things are on their way back to normal. So on behalf of UH&M Charity, we're on our way to say thank you to the team. One of the first wards to turn to a COVID-19 ward, very obviously quite new to the to the world, um, COVID. So we were unexpected of what we were going to receive. Um, so yes, it was quite a, an intense time. Very new, very knowledgeable for staff that have always looked after joints. Um, I think the hardest challenge was an elective orthopaedic ward. We don't see many deaths. It's quite unheard of on an elective orthopaedic ward to then facing six, seven deaths in a shift. That was really hard. And then not having their relatives to be able to visit. So you were being their relative, your nurse, everything for them, everything we could possibly do for them patients. So emotions are high, very high, and still to this day, very high when it comes to around the story of COVID on here and trying to find ways to overcome what you've seen is, I'll take, I, um, quite honestly, I think I'll take it to my deathbed, but as hard as it was, we just carried on. The resilience of the team that I had and we had was outstanding. They, they came in, they put a brave face on us as much as they questioned me, they always put a brave smile on the face and they continued to work as hard as they possibly could, given that full patient care, the compassion, the, the care, the, the love, everything that they needed because they couldn't have their family members here and they were equally as scared as we were. It was, I believe, the worst part of my nursing career. Going on to a placement during Covid was extremely challenging, was physically and mentally. I was scared, but I was probably more scared for my family as well because obviously I, I, at the time I was, I was and, and now I was living, I was living at home with my parents and, and, and all my family. So not really knowing about coronavirus, not really knowing the symptoms of it, you know, I was, I was thinking, how will it affect me? You know, I'm, I'm young, but I had no vaccines were out at the time. No medication sort of worked because it is a virus. I'll, I'll use the word relentless. The patients are coming in. Ambulances were queuing outside. A big corridor, it's very similar to this one. Patients were queuing up. I'll be honest with you, uh, looking back, I, you know, it's very hard to, to see how you did it but it's just that power and that drive to, to do it, and as well as peer support as well, which, which, is, which is extremely beneficial, especially through a pandemic. Mm -hmm.